channel and if you're looking for beauty and fashion or game you can check out my other channels which I will leave down below but welcome to the series where I take cool things that I see on Instagram that are either interesting looking or just trending in general and I try to recreate it in my own little amateur kitchen so something that I've been seeing a lot recently everywhere is the pizza pot pies from Chicago pizza and oven grinder corporation I'm pretty sure that more places make this as well, but this is the one that I see most often, so that's why I'm mentioning it. Obviously because this is a recreation and I'm not like a professional cook or anything, I'm just an amateur and they make these things for a living, then that means that this probably tastes a little different. So one of you can support the original because I'm just an average person making it. If you guys do want to see the results and how it tastes, I'll be tasting at the end of this video after the whole process and everything. Before we get started though, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification bell down below, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below letting me know what type of things you want to see me recreate. Other than that, let's just get right into this. First we need to make the dough since that takes the longest, I'll leave the recipe that I used down below. But pour your yeast into some warm water, mix it, and set it aside for a few minutes to activate. I'm making this in a bread machine, but if you're making it by hand, mix together the ingredients as you add them. Into the machine, I'm adding the yeast mixture, sugar, salt, and the flour. At this point, you knead it by hand and let it prove, but I'm letting the bread machine do everything for me because I'm lazy. Not sponsored, but I mean, if any bread company wants to sponsor me, I would love to have my own bread machine, so you know, wink wink. <laughs> Then in an oven safe bowl or ramekin, oil it with olive oil. I'm also oiling a bit of the outside of the rim so it doesn't stick to the dough. Now layer your choice of cheese to cover the ramekin. I'm using marbled cheddar and mozzarella but you can use whatever you like. This is just what I had on hand. Then add all of your favorite pizza toppings. I'm using bell peppers and I'd normally add mushrooms but I did not have any today. Then set that aside while we work on our pizza sauce. You can make pizza sauce from scratch if you want but I'm taking the lazy route and using some jarred marinara sauce. In a heated pot with olive oil add in garlic and onions. Saute it until it becomes translucent. Pour in your marinara sauce and mix it all together. I personally like to add more oregano and ground pepper, but it's totally up to you however you want to season it if you even want to season it even further. When you're done, spoon it into the filled ramekin from before and set it aside for now. Back to the dough, when it's ready, remove it from the bread machine or bowl and I split it into two since it made enough for two portions. Now, I'm not a professional, I've never made pizza from scratch, but stretch out the dough. I'm using two fingers under the dough and spreading them to stretch it as evenly as possible. And then giving it one more stretch on the working surface. Now drape it onto the ramekin and remove any excess dough. I kind of just pinched it off. Bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit until the top is crispy and lightly browned. Using an oven mitt or clean towel because it is very hot, flip the ramekin and remove it. You may need to use a knife to help scrape the sides off if it does stick. And then just garnish it with basil. Now onto the tasting. Okay, so here it is and it's still pretty warm. It's not as warm as it used to be so the cheese is a little more solidified now since I had to go take pictures of videos and all that stuff. You know, Instagram and YouTube and social media problems. <laughs> but when I was baking this, it smelled so good from inside the oven and it literally smelled like I was cooking a pizza. Which, by the way, I've never made pizza before, so please don't judge my pizza techniques because I'm just going off of what I've seen on those little short clips on Facebook and everything. Okay, well, there's no way of cutting the, into this with a fork and I don't feel like eating a knife, so... This is a little cooler than it was before. Let's take out the table. 
let's just mm. honestly within all the things I've recreated up to today this has got to be the most delicious thing ever. Not just because I love pizza, because I really do love pizza. Pizza is amazing. Any type of pizza, either plain or fully loaded, it's just, pizza's good, okay? But this, this is amazing. I love the fact that the outside is crunchy, there's not too much crust. I always hate it when pizzas have too much crust or thick crust. I like either medium or thin, that way I can get the most out of the sauce and the cheese, which is essentially my favorite part. <laughs> But because this is almost like a deep dish pizza, it's encompassing everything that I love. I also love the fact that the bell peppers cooked perfectly, so they do have a little bit of crunch, but they're also still very soft and they don't taste like raw bell peppers, which I don't like at all. <laughs> I'm also not sure how people typically eat those. Like, do you normally just eat the insides first? Because I feel like you have to have that balance of crust and everything. I just have to say that this is a huge success, probably the most successful Instagram recreated thing ever. I mean, it probably still tastes different from the original. I definitely do want to try the original now. If this one that I made at home with my little amateur knowledge and tools and everything and tasted this good. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe if you haven't with the notification bell click down below and give me a big thumbs up as well. Comment down below letting me know what type of videos you guys want to see next. Like, do you guys see anything on Instagram that looks interesting? Send it over to me. Other than that, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.